Hello, my Scorpio minds. It's time for another Q&A. I know it's been such a long time and people have been asking when there's gonna be another Q&A. So yeah, today is the day. I only ask today what kind of questions I should answer and you guys are insane. I got so many questions. So let's just get right ahead into answering some of your questions. Okay, the first one. Apart from dogs, what is your other favorite animal and why? I think I don't have like a favorite animal. When I was little, I was really into tigers. I don't know why, probably because they're strong and they look pretty and the fur with the tiger stripes and stuff are really, really sweet. I love pretty much every animal with, with beautiful fur. <laughs> there was also a time where I really loved ocelots. It's also like a, a ti no, not a tiger, like a, a, how do you say it, Raubkatze, like a, a cat that is like chasing, wait a second, a big cat, they say cat of prey or a big cat, so everything that's like uh, tigers, lions, yeah stuff like that, I love them so much, I love wolves, I love foxes, everything that has fur pretty much, I'm not a big fan of snails or snakes or everything that's like creeching and yeah just only has the skin and doesn't have fur it's not that much for me but then again like frogs i don't mind too much but yeah <laughs> everything with like i don't know ears and and fur and legs and paws in the future will you want to start a family and have children that's a kind of a hard question but i would say yes but then again, there need to be other factors that are playing into it, like having enough money to s sustain a family because children are really expensive. And right now there's like <laughs> no means I could afford it. And I want to have a partner with whom I'm living with and stuff because I don't want to be single mom. Well, I can't say that I don't want to do it or I want to do it or anything I think it just has to feel right in the moment and that you kind of both decide or just like when you're single whatever you decide that you really want to have a child and you, you can do it you have enough time enough money enough willpower because it's really exhausting but it's nice I guess <laughs> every mom says it's it's nice and there's so much love that's coming from the children and I get that. I did a lot of babysitting and it's really nice. They're so sweet and yeah, I think I don't want to miss out on it, but I can't say for 100% that I for sure want to have children. Cause there's like one part of me that's like, yes, I want to experience it. I want to be pregnant. I want to have a family and like settle down and stuff. And on the other hand, on the other hand, it's just like, so much you have to care for and so much responsibility and just yeah we will see <laughs> i still have a lot of time so no rush <laughs> all right i got those from youtube now i'm gonna continue with instagram uh which university have you attended i attended a private university it's called hochschule here in germany and it was for communication design so basically Design, photography, videography, advertisement, a bit of marketing. Um, we worked with real clients, which was really nice. And yeah, it's, it's cool. It was a bit of everything. And then we kind of had to decide what we wanted to do with it just by ourselves. Like the people in my class do so many different things. This, I think nobody's doing photography really. No, I don't think so. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And I love that I took that choice. I don't regret it, so <laughs> I think that counts for something. Why did Kiwi stay in Luxembourg? She is still staying in Luxembourg because I am going to Bali on Sunday. So excited. And yeah, I went to Luxembourg in December for Christmas and New Year's and I just let her there because I don't have a car and it's really expensive to fly, especially with Kiwi. And with the train, it, took, it takes like nine or 10 hours or something. So I just couldn't be bothered to go back and forth and back and forth again. And um, 
So I just let her there because I know that she's having a really great time. My parents have a big yard so she can play. They have another dog. She has a companion. She just is like never alone at home. And like the, the walks in Luxembourg are insanely beautiful. In case you've seen it, I posted some here on YouTube and on Instagram as well. It's just so nice. I think you could take a walk every single day for like two or three years and never walk on the same walk. So it's, it's pretty cool for Kiwi. I often struggle with being satisfied and feeling fed up. Most times I feel hungry shortly after meals. Any tips? Um, yeah, that's... <laughs> I get you. That's probably because you're kind of... Um, bored. At least for me, when I'm bored and I have nothing really to do, I just... Like my mind wanders and I just want to eat something because I just want want to have something to do. It's also like less now, but before when I was studying and learning and just like learning math or something, <laughs> which I really didn't like, I just wanted to have something to eat to kind of distract me from stuff. So if you're like hungry after meal, maybe go out and take a walk. Maybe do something you really love, drink a bit, a big glass of water, or if you're really craving something, like a little piece of chocolate, just have it and suck on it, let it dissolve in your mouth, and then see if it goes away. And if not, I don't know, maybe just wait for 20 minutes and see if it's just hunger, or if it's really hunger, and you're still hungry, and your body's like, I need more calories to sustain my lifestyle, or if it's just... Um, like a craving for something because I have cravings a lot of times. I could eat every minute pretty much, um, but it's not really hunger. So I kind of differentiate that. And if I don't give in to my cravings every time, they just kind of go away after a couple of times. And yeah, if something like that happens, try to go for like healthy options, low calorie options. You could um, eat some veggies, eat a carrot, it's pretty fine. Eat an apple. Like there's no harm you can do to your body. It's actually pretty great. So yeah, I would go for that. What's your height? Another person asked that and they guessed one meter 76. It's funny because everybody thinks I'm so tall, maybe because of the videos and probably my legs look that long, but I'm actually only 172. Yeah, <laughs> I always wanted to become a model when I was little and like the maximum or the minimum height is like 175 for like runways and stuff. So I was kind of disappointed, but now I don't care too much. I think 172 is actually pretty cool. What's your favorite color? There are a lot of really nice colors. I love like my favorite favorite, the one my bedroom's been painted in in Luxembourg is like Bordeaux red. So like a really dark red. I love it so much. I also love blue. I love gray. Like pretty much my whole wardrobe is <laughs> white, gray and black and a little bit of blue. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, also like a bluish green is really nice. And it really depends on the situation and where the color is applied. But like my absolute favorite color would be Bordeaux Red. And then yeah, for clothes, like black or gray. What is your favorite sport? I got that asked before. Like if I had to choose, would I go for pole or would I go for weightlifting or aerial silk? And I think right now it's so hard because I love both or like every sport, every sport I'm doing. Obviously not every sport. But if I really had to choose and if there would be like an opportunity like hey we have a camp you can be like the best and you can train to become an acrobat on stage blah 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 I would probably go for aerial silk because it's crazy it's like so daring and kind of scary just to fall let yourself fall and figure out how to wrap the wraps around your body and since I do it, my muscles have improved so much, like my core, my shoulders, my biceps, my back a little bit. I just love it so much. It's great. You're gorgeous. Love your vibes. Thank you so much. Your country. I live in, in Germany, grew up in Luxembourg and was born in the Netherlands. 
Where did you get Kiwi? What is the coolest trick that she can do? I got her from a German website, which is called eBay Kleinanzeigen. You have to be kind of careful with it because there are some people from like the east, from Poland. I don't want to judge anyone, but there are a lot of people coming from, I don't know, Poland, Ukraine, whatever. And they sell puppies from puppy mills. So they just kind of breed puppies and they don't care about the, the health. And they sell the puppies on like parking lots and stuff which is not cool and yeah you have to be really careful we got kiwi from a family or from yeah like a family that took care of her and couldn't do it anymore or just didn't want to i don't know but yeah we got her from here from germany from family how much experience as an athlete do you need to be uh do you need to be successful at pole or silk work like successful, successful. I'm not successful at pole dance or silk or any, or just like acrobatics. I just love to do it. I see my progress, which I love. And my success would be to actually perform on stage and one day be like a professional athlete and get paid to train people or be paid to be on stage, which would be amazing, but I still need a lot more practice to do that um, but if you just want to start pole or silk you don't have to have any experience you can just go to a class and then your strength will come just as you go of course it's it's very useful if you're a dancer or if you have strength and you can do pull-ups and stuff so you can improve much faster but it's absolutely not that necessary and you just take some more time to learn the tricks but completely fine it's so much fun so I just try it out do you like guinea pigs yes I do I actually had some when I was younger they're so sweet I love them so much but they're also kind of boring they just sit around and are afraid and yeah I think I wouldn't get any anymore because we had them at the cage and in a cage and I think it's also not the best life I don't know, but we. I tried to let them run in our in our apartment in our house, but they <laughs> they didn't want it to. They were just sitting around doing nothing. So I don't know. I think they were just super afraid. Are you and vegan savage? Is his name vegan savage now? <laughs> Vegans, vegan strength, Ferdinand, uh, getting back together. No, probably not. Like I can't say what's gonna happen in the future as always, but right now, no, I I don't see that coming really. How do you deal with sadness, negative feelings? I already made a video of that here on YouTube, so maybe check that out. But the thing I do is distract myself, do things I love and focus on positive things. Also on tiny positive things. Just like a little achievement you have in your job, a little achievement you get when doing sports or with your friends or just, yeah, just talk to your friends also. That was really helpful for me. Is Kiwi still living with you? Yes, of course. She's, she's just in Luxembourg right now. And, but I'm gonna get her back as soon as I'm back from Bali, which is gonna be in March. So excited for that. My mom is always sending me pictures of Kiwi. It's so sweet, I love it, and yeah, I'm just so, so, n n not nervous, but just so, so happy, and I can't wait to see her again. Look, like here's a picture, for example. And they have so much snow right now, it's insane. Oh, they're so sweet! Alright, um... Did you ever felt any discomfort in the abdominal area when you first went vegan? No, actually no. I don't, didn't have problems. I didn't feel tired. I didn't have hunger. I never felt pain. What other problems are there? No. Maybe you're eating... Like I obviously... I have no idea what kind of pain you have. But maybe you're just eating totally different foods that your body's not adjusted to. Maybe like a lot of, I don't know, berries or foods that are kind of acidic maybe or you're just eating like way much more than before, which is not bad, but your body needs to be adjusted to it. 
or maybe like a lot of beans which you haven't been doing before and then you get bloated um, but if it's like severe maybe go and see a doctor would probably be better I have like from this question I just can't say no I never experienced any pain during veganism what's your what's your favorite sushi place in Berlin there's actually a new place secret garden that's opened which is completely vegan and it's sushi I've never been I heard it's nice so if you've been there let me know down below in the comments um, but the sushi I really love they don't have a lot of vegan options but the ones they have are like top-notch um, it's from Royals and Rice here in Berlin so if you're looking for a vegan sushi it's not just like the avocado sushi it's I don't know it's like everything <laughs> and the sauce is great and really recommend that place when is your favorite time of the day probably around now it's almost four uh, the sun is kind of setting right now and I I'm not a huge morning person I just don't feel that energized so I just take it slow in the mornings and then at af in the afternoon, night-ish, I start really working hard and push myself. Maybe also because I didn't get anything done in the morning and I kind of have to um, do everything after. I don't know, but I also prefer to do my sports at night. I don't know, everybody's different, right? But I also love to be outside when it's dark and just go for walks and just chill there. I don't know, there's something about like the night sky and the atmosphere when it's dark. It's kinda, kinda, yeah, not really romantic, but kinda everything is chilled down and it's, life is taking slower and there are not that many people around and I don't know, there's just something about it. I love it, especially when it's warm. I could stay up at night, like in summer, all night. Maybe I should do it more. It's really nice. Um. <laughs> all right, this is the last question. I have a couple more. I'm just gonna do another Q and A. But when do you apply for a musical? Come on, you're the perfect person. <laughs> I think you've never heard me singing. I really, well, I can't sing better now because I've been practicing a little bit, but still, there's like no way for me to go on stage and sing. It's just too embarrassing and I think everybody would just get up and leave. <laughs> but as a dancer, I was actually thinking about, like before studying my studies, if I should go to like musical school. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. It was kind of, yeah, you have to be able to sing at least a little bit and it's part of the requirement, re requirement that they um, like allow you to get into the school. And maybe I could have made it because you really don't have to sing that great as a dancer. But also, I don't know, I, I kind of discussed that a little bit with my parents. Just I also wanted to uh, go and study dance. But they were not that excited about it <laughs> so that's why I chose the um, the design route 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 um, yeah I don't know I don't know if I regret not taking it but I don't think so like everything is there for a purpose and if I would have taken that way I wouldn't be sitting here right now maybe there would have been something better or something worse who knows but i'm happy where i'm now um and i'm also not that much into dancing right now like modern or ballet or hip-hop or anything i'm more into acrobatics so it's pretty cool that i found uh found that like pole dance i know pole dance is kind of dancing but it's also it's more acrobatics for me and silk is amazing I would love to uh, travel the world with silks or just like travel Berlin with silks or Germany and go on stage with that. That would be pretty cool. Maybe there's going to be a musical in the future where they need silk or pole. And then by the time I'm perfect and I know all the tricks and 
oh man we'll see we'll see the future is not to tell so anyway thank you so much for watching if you have any more questions please let me know down below in the comments and i'm gonna make sure to answer them in one of my next q and a's Thank you so much for being here, for sticking with me, for giving me all those questions, for being interested in my life and oh, I'm just so excited, so happy how everything is turning out and I'm gonna be so happy when I have Kiwi back. Ah, it's my little fur baby, I love her so much and I just wanted to turn her around to look at her but she's not there obviously. All right. Have a great day. I will see you again. Goodbye.